Two weeks from tonight, the Broncos kick off the regular season on the road in Seattle. And the team's represented by a lot of new members in the front office this year. Michael Spencer at the View House getting all set for Xfinity <laughs> Monday Live. Michael, we got to meet the team's new president. Yeah, we first told you about Damani Leach's hiring earlier this month. Today was our first chance to get to meet him, get to know him, and talk to him a little bit. Leach has a very, very impressive resume. He's been at the league office in New York since 2015. Prior to that, he was at the NCAA office in Indianapolis. Now, of course, top of mind for a lot of Broncos fans and taxpayers is what the Broncos are going to do with the stadium. Now, the team still has 10 more years on its lease at Mile High. Today, Leach said the stadium will be a focus of his, but may not be his number one priority right now. In Powerfield at Mile High Stadium is a, is a world-class facility. Um, it, it not only hosts, you know, amazing NFL games, but also concerts and other events, and, you know, is a, a core part of this community. Um, there are a number of things that I'll be looking at as I, as I take over in this organization. Obviously, the this, this stadium is one of them. On day one, I don't have any proclamations to make, but it's certainly something I'll be evaluating. Now, coming up a little bit later in sports, we'll hear more from Leach, including why he wanted to take this job here in Denver. We'll also talk about some big name roster moves that the Broncos made today and tell you which name that you've heard before will not be on the roster to begin the 2022 season. Jim and Kelly. A lot to talk about, Michael. Looking forward to it.